All right, so here we are with part two of our parlor freestyle expansion. Uh, this was filmed with my drone on March, somewhere around March 22nd. You can actually see we've got a little bit of snow that we're dealing with. The last part of the video, or the last part that I did, was the first part of March when they poured the footers for the building that's going to be over top of the carousel parlor slash rotary parlor, which is this area right here. They're forming up some walls and whatever to sit on top of the, the footers. They're digging right now in the back side of the connecting building, the back side, or what's going to be, not the connecting building, but, but the holding area right where that excavator is sitting. And then this is the freestall that's going to be in behind the parlor. This is just one wing of it. Uh, they, uh, even up until this particular point, which is several weeks later, they haven't got this barn completely uh, up. In other words, they don't have the rafters all up. They're just doing it in short, small stages so that they don't run into an issue of having rafters blow over and what have you. We do get a lot of wind. Uh, up in this area now uh, we're flying over the top of the hutches here now and you can see that uh, barn nine is added on to that's more or less going to be the connecting building portion of barn nine uh, the cows are going to come out of that building go over to where about where they're digging which is going to be the um, the entrance point of the actual holding area for the parlor what they're digging here is like underground um, wash pits and uh, spots for the water and manure to uh, flow to. Um, I had gotten a lot of questions and whatever from between the first part and the second part. This is going to be an 80 stall rotary parlor. It will be capable of milking 4,000 cows doesn't necessarily mean we have planned to go directly to 4,000 cows But in the event that we get there in the next 20 years the parlor will be uh, sized right to Be able to milk 4,000 cows. We're milking about 2100 currently right now This one portion that they're working on on this one building the bolt the silo milk silo is going to be on that little square portion um i'm just kind of aimlessly flying this drone around i didn't do the voiceover of this this uh video while i had the drone up in the air and um it's kind of hard to just talk after the fact but um this is just kind of giving you guys an idea of what things look like um, as this goes on every once in a while I plan on throwing the drone up in the air and we're going to show you the different phases of this construction project now I had gotten some comments here uh, on the last video you know why are you building it where you're building it well that's a pretty good spot right there it's nice and level why don't you have it farther forward than what it is if you happen to notice on the west side of that barn, the road side of that barn, it, there's quite a bit of a hill there. Uh, prior to coming to this side of the road, when we were milking 200 cows in a high stall barn, we had not planned on milking much more than, say, six or 700 cows. We bought 140 spring and heifers in that fall. They freshened out by about June of that following year. And we had not bought an animal since then. We've been growing within. We have a lot of family members that are growing up now that are, you know, that were that are still actually little kids that um not little kids, but they're they're younger. They want a future here. So we're kind of expanding and growing for them. There's not as many farms around as there used to be. Um, we're taking up the slack there. Not really slack, but it's just 
the wave of the future here with everything. It doesn't matter if it's a grocery store or if it's a restaurant chain. Everything seems to be getting larger and larger. It's not exactly the, uh, the route that we want to go in, but we're just kind of going with the flow. So we will catch you at the next one. That is it for this. Um, just a short little update. So we'll catch you down the road here. Uh, as we go along, I have videoed some more, but I'm just late getting this part two to you. So thanks for watching.